right, so for those of you who don't know, this is Brandon. Hey, hey. He is no longer with, I'm sorry, Mead. He's now with McCoy. Yep. you the big dog in town now. We're so trying. what we want to do is talk to the viewers a little bit today about what you're doing here. Um, so I was going to lead in with, you know, we bought this new equipment from you. Um, it's got TopCon on it. And obviously we're using that to be able to see where we're at and dig on grade, be more accurate. Speeds us up because we're not staking out the job site. Yep. Or, um, we're not having to guess on grades and clean up with the dozer as much. Right. So the, the Traco can do a lot more of the work grading now because we can see grade in the Traco. Absolutely. So the big question that even took me a while to understand, I know there's viewers out there that don't understand, I want them to be able to see this, is how do we have the top con receivers, and we'll show them some pictures of this. We actually push walk the track hoe on the back of the track hoe, mm -hmm. and then the bucket on all these different angles. But no matter how the angle of the boom setup is, the machine knows where the tip of the teeth are. Yeah. So let's go to the machine and show them a couple pictures of this and let you explain that. Okay. All right, guys. So we are sitting in front of the 245P. You can't tell because it's so dusty, but that's what it is. It has not yeah. rained in like three months here. Walk us through the systems that you put on this machine, what came on at factory, and how it communicates all the way down to that T. Gotcha. So this machine actually didn't come with anything factory. Everything on here is aftermarket. Okay. Um, so we've got a receiver on the back of the cab here and a receiver almost in the same spot on the opposite side. That's where we get our machine orientation and that's what actually communicates with the satellites. And so that's gonna give us our position where the machine is. And then from there we measure from the center to the pins on the boom and then we measure all of our pin distances uh, we've got a sensor uh, orientation sensor on the body on the boom on the stick uh, and on the dog bone there can you show us a couple of those yeah behind the panels they've got it welded on a bracket okay but we do have the sensor right here on the boom okay and then we've got one on the stick right here behind this cover so is it safe to say there's a sensor on every major piece Yes, yeah. And so your orientation of that sensor in comparison to your pin distance, when you add all that information up, the computer calculates it and turns it into a number. That's correct, yeah. It does a lot of math. Really quick. Yeah, so we don't have to. It's actually not as quick as the indicate system lags just a hair. When you're swinging, you get a lot of numbers quick and you have to kind of almost wait back at the ground for just a second yeah. for it to compute that. Just a second. This one is a little bit older of a system. That's probably been uh, my only um, negative on this machine. So the 245P is really fast cycle rate, right? Oh yeah. So it's yeah. obnoxiously quicker than a lot of the other machines on swing rate. That's correct. And so this particular indicate only system probably shows up as a bigger delta because the machine's also faster. Yeah. So as I'm really swinging fast, it's making that lag seem, I think, larger. For me as a, as a operator yeah. that's had a lot of seat time on GPS, I notice when I come back to the ground, I'm looking for that quick kind of zero, zero indication. And it's like coming back out of two, one. By the time I'm done with my stroke, I'm almost getting my indicate. And I'm like, oh man, like it's slow. Cause uh, I'm kind of getting that old score. I almost have to sit on the ground for a second and then make yeah. my pass. And it's hard for me. Because yeah. I'm always in a hurry, imagine that. <laughs> uh, to get our teeth measurement, uh, everything comes off of this sensor right here. Um, this is where the most complex measurements is. So you have to measure from here to here, from here to here, here to here, and then here to here. And it constantly does the geometry math. I mean, it. So as that dog bone right there is changing because it's connected to all of those points, yes. it's constantly adding the distance of those pins and where they're at. That's and correct. Yep. So that one box, the one box that's the easiest to rip off, I should mind. Yeah. Very little protection right here on that hose. It's very, very tricky to get that really protected. Just so sensors of... under this plate, this box is a protection plate, but that one wire in a clearing job, if it got ripped off, would I have to buy the whole sensor again or could you just open the, the sensor up just the wire? Yeah, it's just a wire. And could you patch into that? Uh, or do you have to replace it? Off. So you have to replace it from there to there. Yeah, we normally recommend on clearing just to unscrew it and. Yeah, it's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. But yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Cool. Yeah. So we're going to learn how to do that, and then I'm going to let a little secret out of the bag. So in an earlier video, we were talking about our 700s not quite being enough dozer for us. Uh, we've got the old D6R. Uh, 
which is kind of our clearing dozer. It's hard to get rid of that dozer. Value to root rake, new machines, putting them in clearing, it's just hard for me. But we did bite the bullet on a 950 LGP machine. So you've had the pleasure of being around this machine already. I have not seen it yet, but it is gonna to come today, we hope, while you're here with us so we can go measure that blade in and make sure that system is working. Our radio channels have to make sure they're communicating together. And we're gonna set that machine up on a new job if I'm lucky. Hopefully. So that's gonna be pretty exciting. So I'm hoping Zach gets to film the arrival of that 950 on our next project. So let's get to it, film a little bit, see if we can get you a short clip with Brandon with McCoy helping us get these new machines set up for the job so we can grade a little bit more accurately. Stay tuned.